Oh god, there's a bug. I am instantly regretting my decision of filming a video in this 80 degree weather. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Julia. So for today's video, I thought we would be... This is such a bad idea. <laughs> we live on a main road and there's cars just going by all the time. You hear that? Trucks everywhere. I'm too hot to function. I really am. I want winter to come back. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Julia. So for today's video, I thought we could do first world problems. I have been encountering lately the most first world problems that there could ever be. So a first world problem is like something that seems so little of a problem to us, but somewhere else in the world, somebody might not even have that. And so it's just kind of us as Americans just like encountering problems that are so small but yet so big in our eyes. So I'm just going to share a couple of my first world problems. So number one, you go and you wake up in the morning and you're like, okay, I gotta shower, right? I mean, unless you shower at night. I shower in the morning. Anyways, that's besides the point. So you wake up and you're like, okay, I gotta shower. Like, let's get this day started, let's go. So you go in the shower, you're in the shower, you're taking a shower, you're almost done, rinsing out your shampoo, turn off the water, look up, and realize you forgot a towel. Now, I am the kind of person that uses two towels, one for my hair and one to wrap in, right? Either I forget both, I get, or I don't forget both, or I forget one. Okay. So, there are two things you can do here. Either scream for help, or, number two, run to your room butt naked. Afraid that even if you're home alone, and number one doesn't work, you're afraid that somebody might walk in the door, because that's what I fear of. Number two, when you lay down for bed at night, you know, you get all cozy, you snuggle with the kitty, you get all comfortable, and then you realize that you have to pee. Okay. I'm the kind of person that usually brushes my teeth, takes off my makeup, goes to the bathroom, and then goes to bed. But sometimes I brush my teeth and take off my makeup earlier and forget to go to the bathroom before I go to bed. For me, it's frustrating because I sleep on the top bunk in my room because the bottom half is like a desk area. It is a struggle when you're just so tired and then you gotta get out of bed to go pee. So then you go, that's one problem in itself. But then you go to the bathroom and then you try to turn the lights and now you're all wide awake, right? So then when you go pee, do your business, and then you go back to lay down and I sit on my phone for about another hour until I fall asleep. Number three, when your phone is on 1%. It is bad in itself that it's on 1%. But it's even worse if you're out and nobody has a charger. Or you can't stop to charge your phone. So, to solve this problem, my parents bought me a portable charger. You think that I would keep that charge and with me at all times? But no. Never do I bring it with me anywhere. And if I do decide to bring it with me, it's already dead. So that portable charger, you think it's going to be such a good thing, but in reality, it's either never charged or never with you. There's no in between. Number four, headphones. I'm the kind of person that brings my headphones everywhere I go. Whether they're in my pocket, whether they're in my bag, they're always with me. But, like every pair of headphones, they always get tangled. Always. Always, always, always get tangled. So, I decided to buy this fancy little holder, you know, that you can wrap your headphones in so they don't get tangled in your pocket or in your purse. They still get tangled. So, don't waste your money on that because they don't work. It does not work. Another thing, I own one pair of headphones at a time. One pair of 
Apple headphones, okay? This one pair of headphones is the only pair of headphones, and until that pair of headphones breaks, or like one earbud goes bad, I'm not buying a new pair. So, when that one pair breaks, it is the saddest thing, because that one pair just somehow fit your ears perfectly, but that's so sad when it gets tangled too much that you don't want to untangle them and you're like, I'm done with those. One earbud breaks, or they both break, or they start getting that, like, turtleneck, you know, when you know it's the end of its life. Just the saddest moment. Number five has to do with the bathroom. When you go to the bathroom, you're sitting in there, maybe on your phone, doing your business, whether it's number one or number two, you're doing your business. You get done and you realize there's no toilet paper. Either you run out to the closet that's outside of the bathroom for some reason to get toilet paper with your pants down if no one's home, or you yell for help hoping that somebody hears you and brings a toilet paper. It is 80 degrees right now. It is just starting to be summer. It's been like maybe up to 70s since school ended or whatever this year um, and it is pretty hot right now I hate heat I really hate heat I cannot be in the heat I don't know what I'm doing right now anyways besides the point 80 degrees right in our household it is either air conditioning on or heat on there is no in between all year round heat or air conditioning is always on. Maybe except for the fall time. 80 degrees. Last night, I tried filming this video and realized it was just too hot in the house. So I go upstairs in my dad's backyard with the door wide open. Okay? I don't know what he's doing and I look outside and he is trying to fix the air conditioning unit. The air broke. It broke. After years of that thing working, it finally broke. So all night long, there was no air conditioning, and it was almost 80 degrees outside. No air conditioning. So here I am, really hot, with no blanket on me, trying to go to sleep, and I can't. So that's a whole problem. It really is. So that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. What was that sound? Oh my god, it was rock. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for... What did I just do? That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you could relate to any of the seven things that I said. Uh, if you can or if you have any other first world problems that I have left out, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. I will be leaving all my links to my Twitter, Instagram, not my Snapchat, all down below, as well as the link to my last week's video. That'll be the first link that you see. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next week with another video.